Hey, we're live. Good things. Good things. You all ever had that moment when you. You really should go to sleep, but uh, you want to play Star Citizen instead? This is the space station above our core. Yeah, that's where we are. Why were we here? Yeah, we tried to sell our goods here. They didn't want to buy it. Where do I sell my rocks? Is that something I can ask Google about? Star Citizen. Where to sell? I don't find. Oh. <laughs> All right, the general answer is in places that buy them, I guess. Oh, okay, that sucked. Now, if you haven't been, uh, wait, hold on, this is so dark. There we go. If you haven't been uh, watching lately, I recently got rid of all my ground vehicles and upgraded my whole A to a uh, prospector and my other stuff to a nomad. <coughs> Sorry about that. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just hanging out. Uh, daughter's sleeping. Been sleeping for a while now. Probably wakes up soon. This is my refined ore. Is it? These are crystalline minerals, right? Should be able to sell them. But where? This space station could not be less interested. And honestly, considering I'm right next to the main hub for all mining, uh, RKL1. Maybe this time I can even repair my ship. Couldn't uh, couldn't last time. Here we go repairing a fuel 300 AUEC. I think I spent a couple of thousand on fuel so far, just to keep track of my actual. You are clear to launch. There's a lot of activity here, and one of them is red, and I'm flying a loaded Nomad. I sh think I should. I think I should move. Yeah, I think I should move very, very quickly. Yeah. And I want one, two, and I want two, three. Shields should take any beating whatsoever. They receive. Okay, they weren't actually pirates. They were probably just messing around. Usually that's what it is. But I. The thing is, last time. I. Uh, 
last time I um, the size threes only have 18 shots in them. Oh, these are cannons. Never mind. Look at that. Fire was much more rapid fire than I thought. Overheating and even reloading. Shouldn't be a big issue with this. Okay, that's good enough. How fast do they recharge on default power settings? Okay, take some time. Right. Gonna stop spinning around. I know it's horrible to watch. Am I actually within the altometer height? I seem to be. It's crazy. Okay. Anyways, I also swapped out my quantum drive and I only had 770 fuel in that. What is this? This is Okay, so it's more than enough. I can actually go to Microtech with it. Barely. Wonder if I could go from Arc to Microtech. But I don't want to spend that long in Quantum. That's another thing. How fast is it? Let's try to Hurston. Just for the fun of it. Charging. Not too fast, but fast enough. Calibration is standard. System failure imminent. Uh, system overheating. Okay, that's interesting. So I made some obvious changes. Um, yeah, I'll swatch this, uh, swap this one. But this is electromagnetic radiation and infrared signature heat. Signature. Heat signature isn't what I'm worried about. It's um, overheating. My cooler can't handle. I've, I've thrown too much heavy stuff in here. Let me see. So, these are systems. These are weapons, these are shields, and these are thrusters. I guess this is what does the quantum travel stuff. If I suppress that... What does that mean? Does it mean that it's less efficient? But... Hmm. I haven't... Until today I haven't been... I haven't needed to look into the heat generation system. Um, I guess these numbers are some kind of score, right? And this is the actual stored heat. And if this fills up, my I'm gonna take damage, I guess. I can't unsuppress it. Okay, let's see. I might have broken something. Let's see, how far left do we have? About half of 262 seconds, 130 ish, 122 minutes. Alright, we've got two and a half minutes until we'll, we'll uh, reach Hurston. What I can do in the meantime, let's see, so the Origo is about there. I want it like this then. There. And up. Now, that hotkey is the same as open all doors. So I'll just do like this. Close all doors, and... Most important one. There we go. That's it. Now, 
optimally I would be able to see the ship as well so if I do like this maybe yeah then I kind of see parts of my ship relative to the thing I'm zoomed in at kind of makes the scene feel a little bit more alive like this just a turret there we go looking good and I can see her so we got visual mm -mm -mm. ladies and gentlemen the red planet the industrial backyard of Hurston Dynamics and on our top left we're passing by Magda I think no that's that's uh, Ariel and this is Magda Ariel is not here uh, what, which one am I thinking about anyways that is Magda and I've been recommended testing out Magda as a uh, bada boom boom um, mining spot for a rock that is I don't have a rock but let's let's give it a look what just happened did I just fly into the planet that was scary okay should I try any other facility than like this is HDSF HDSF that sounds like security facility yeah here's dynamic security facility bunkers HDMS let's try that one that's a mining station I think Boom. around Microtech, right? I think. spot on for it. Is it possible? It is. The ship actually handles pretty sluggishly in uh, at moment. I think it's because of the... I, I don't know. It's because of the something. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I have to be constantly fighting keep it on in line in fire of this you see oh wait 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 let me just uh, unsuppress this thing no idea what it does but god damn there we go okay, what just happened there I have no idea oh yeah 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 <laughs> I almost accidentally backspaced myself there. I did not remember that I locked the uh, <laughs> heading. Landing gear engaged. Guessing one of the small pants are assigned. Hello. Should be able to get a. What? There's nothing here. Catcher is on. No, let's do the. It's not that small a ship. Let's do this one. Are my gears out? Yeah. Well, I think this ship can handle a little bit rougher landing because 
it's not actually landed if you know what I mean it's like anyways Hovering, that's what I was trying to say. This seat should always be open, man. So, I feel like this is a quarter. Oh, okay, anyways. Is it the loo? No, that's not the loo. That's the loo, the laboratory. And we are definitely male. Or I guess there are many places to shave. I gotta point out, I actually enjoyed with this uh, entrance part that when you approach it, immediately open ladder and exit ship are completely separate. So you can, but it was, there we go. You can safely open ladder without being in the risk of exiting by accident no more ships where I feel like that's too easy to make that mistake also I don't get the automatic closure of doors after using them it really shouldn't be a problem I should be able to leave it like this know what I mean but hey who am I to judge Honestly, there should be the opportunity to make a separate hotkey for opening doors. Is it something you do all the time? Yeah, anyways, I promised mining, and to get started mining, I first need to get rid of my load. This game is so beautiful, man. Even though I don't, I don't like... Normally, I don't like this kind of ambience. But this is pretty. Nobody saying anything against that. There we go. There we go. As far away from my character as we can get. And blur it up a little bit. That's perfect. Alright, I've moved the camera in a cardinal direction. Not a relative. Oh well. I think this is more or less right on. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna stop jerking around. Let's have a look see inside here. Are there any lootables? I might have passed something out there. <coughs> or just a little bit of food and drink, I think. Even though I have some of that as well, and I have a multi tool, and like, I don't know, man. Maybe some fresh fruit would be nice. Always oh, nice with fresh fruit on the road. Like, seriously, it's so undervaluated. Um, what are these? I haven't seen those before. Looked interesting enough. Busters, Kirby. <laughs> yeah, some luxury drink for that fruit. Rinse it down. 
Hmm, I need a tractor beam, I think. I don't think I have that. That's perfect. That's, actually, let's get a second copy of this, just to... Uh, Don't save sad. I don't think this one. Yeah, this has the pyramid. Uh, no? I can't see. Customize maybe? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, yep. CJ, this is not working as intended. I'm glad that back button is there. Uh, true hold traction beam. There we go. I'm back. Guess who's back? Back again. And exit. And now, I assume, I still have the med, med tool here. Oh, that's the combat knife. Here. Okay. I didn't know that this one is held with two hands when it's a uh, tractor beam attached. Maybe it always is. I just didn't notice. Oh, we have loot boxes, alright. But is there anything worth looting in here? Pink quick clears, no. Only thing I'm actually interested in here now would be sign or, or differently colored quick flares. I'm looking for trade terminals. I don't know why I'm looking for trade terminals. I know there aren't any. Like, then it would be the first thing I saw. Yeah, like, loot. <laughs> I'm such a hoarder. None of these are searchable, right? No. This one? Yep. Let's try that again. Ooh, we have something like Flex and Beacon Orange. Orchimax and. Orchimax. Singularity and. Autumn. Alright, so this one is actually pretty interesting. That took a lot of space. This one's a not. This one. Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy anyways. Um, actually, Let's do a little switcheroo right now. That was dumb. But it can still be done. Like this. Open here. And you get a separate menu down here where you can take things out of the backpack without ever putting it on. And you can just close that out if you don't need it anymore. I feel that's much more in tune with the mining. Right here. Okay, sorry about that. A little bit of. And there we go. All magazines, all tools, everything back on track. And yes, I have suppression on my weapons. Because if I'll ever need them, I'll need to generate as little heat as possible for myself. It will probably just be to get out of a place. 
Alright, let's see if there's another drink here because we need a drink immediately. Can I take off my helmet now? I don't think I can actually. Sign, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And well, these things are hydrating. I can have another one of those. I don't think that would fit inside my backpack. No, I would. Not at the moment. Eat this fucker, man. Okay, that was a disappointing animation. It looks much better first person. I think. No, it just disappears and it does nothing to my thirst. Let's hope it did something to my invisible hunger bar. And, um, yeah, let's hit that uh, water. Wait, is there a size difference? Between the. Oh, come on. Let me. Can't I just unclick? I can't, can I? There we go. That works. Okay. A thousand micro SU, a thousand micro SU. And I'm guessing there are one liter, which makes one milli SU, one liter, which makes one SU, thousand liters, or one cubic meter. That would be very, very nice CIG. If that's how it works. Yeah, I'm gonna drink the water. If it takes the same place in my inventory. Okay. No, actually, you know what? Let's just finish it. But the drinking and eating animations are not happening. Never mind. Oh. Gotta remember the helmet. Anyways, uh, once again, I've wasted about 20 minutes not doing anything. Oh. Okay, I wasted about 20 minutes coming out to this. That's, that's fucking worth it, man. Look at this. Oh, God, this is nice. Not gonna be nice for much longer, but that's okay. I have is a modification that makes uh, it possible for the night vision. Here's the trading console. What's up, man? I'm definitely here to sell. Please be interested. Oh, god damn it. I don't even know where to start figuring out how to sell this shit. Like, should I try Lorville itself? Go to the admin center there? I think I will. Okay, I just gotta check out how this would have looked with my regular settings. Hold on. Good dramatic as fuck. And not as pretty. Nope. These are um, settings I'm using specifically for streaming. Actually, while we're here, and parked, and I don't think they're taking my ship immediately. Over there. That's Platinum, Platinum Bay, right? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it can run. I think this is Platinum Bay. 
No, this is a hab. What just happened? Yeah, this is definitely habitation. No red boxes, no, no red boxes. More science, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's still that's that's a bug actually. I'm gonna report that I haven't done that yet. If you have more than one bottle of something, equip one of them, drink a part of it, and then click store, it will automatically get stacked back with your other hundred percent. Meaning you have infinite drink. That's I gotta report it. I remember to report it. Ooh, red box, never mind. Try that again. Same happened last time. What have we got? Lynx core and pab core. Nothing uh, incredibly valuable. Could of course carry it out to my ship, but no. Can't be bothered. Now, if it turns out to be too dark outside, of course I could use the flashlights. Or I could use my night vision. No, too bright still. But this, I thought this tower right here was specifically for the... or attached to the thing magic. Let's just spawn vehicles, I don't know. Um, is it where I was earlier with the trading console? Thing is, it shouldn't be red either, it should be blue, right? Maybe it's this one? That's storage. What does this one say? Mining control. Doesn't sound... Doesn't sound correct either. Maybe storage is right, like ship storage, whatnot. That's the same building, right? Yeah, it is. I'll try this one. It's a large building, it might be. Oh, there it is. That's the one. It's blue, not red. I always get confused about these things. What is it called? Uninitialized. What does that mean? Can I name the nomad? Honestly, if I can name the nomad, it's gonna stay with me forever. I'll never melt it. Ever, ever, ever. Oh. I wonder if it's like to simulate the air pressure leaving the room, but it's. Exaggerated it in that case. My ass feels like I've been sitting on a rock. My chair is old. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. <sighs> right. I'm not here to actually retrieve anything. But I could just as well call the cross picture here. Fuck it, why not? Well, that's why not. It's not free. It takes Please nine minutes. Um, but so does crossing the entire to the empty space between system. us. Let me just get in here. Your right. insurance claim has been sent. Even spend three thousand credits getting it faster. Uh, but yeah, what I was looking for was uh, 
any on-site rentals. Should have understood that's not how anything works. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go take my nomad, fly over to her uh, to Lorbill, rent a. No, you know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna do what I came to do. Go mining. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I should do. That's what I should do. I'm gonna leave my nomad here, middle of freaking nowhere. Ooh. There we go. Here we go. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. What? What? What is the sick? Lame. Okay, I gotta. Um, I gotta uh, go back up, ask for permission to land here, and then go back down. I think that's the only way. That's what uninitialized means. It's on pad, but it's not permitted to be. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got a bit. I freaking love this ship. Engine systems enabled. Maybe I should just, uh, while I'm remembering to do so, refuel and repair. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh, <laughs> repair in progress. Do not lift off. Uh, sorry. Yeah, now Platinum Bay landing services are here. They weren't here earlier. See that? Then I can turn around and go like, ooh. Oh, now this shit is getting dark. No? No. Hey, Monocle Man. What up? Norwegians uh, speaking. Could hear from the accent, couldn't you? Play nice. PP <coughs> LS. Come on, be a bro. All right, I'm called Ikel Van in um, <laughs> in Twitch. <laughs> no, Swedes, you can you can hear a Swede <laughs> a mile away. <laughs> no, no offense to our Swedish brethren, but. Uh, uh, it's uh, so easy to recognize the Swedish. <laughs> I mean, that's the good thing about being two Scandinavians uh, meeting. Um, because you can always hate on the third one. <laughs> Together. <laughs> We're unified in our <laughs> collective hate of each other. Uh, I think it's a love-hate relationship. You have, I think, s the Swedes have the best music and maybe pop culture. The Danish have the best just country to be in, the best summers, the best beaches, and so on. And Norway have the best postcards. <laughs> oh, and Danes have also the best interior design. Norway is majestic, right? Like, it's almost spiritual. Some parts of Norway, not every part of Norway, of course. But when you zoom down to your singular person level, 
Um, it's, it's like Microtech. It's, it's beautiful. But if you're all by yourself trying to get up that hill, freezing to death, it's, it's no fun. <laughs> That's where when uh, my friends go to Denmark for summer, it's like uh, Sweden. <laughs> Come on, I, I really need permission to land here. I'm, I've been wasting so much time not mining, and I want to store the ship before I take out the prospector. <laughs> System failure imminent. Oh yeah, 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 right, 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 right. Um, I have to land because I've installed a cooler that can't handle my grade A military <laughs> industri or industrial shields. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I tried to land, but it was like uh, my location said uninitialized. So I'm just assuming that it means as long as I'm not um, permitted to or asked to land here, they won't store my ship. I wasn't able to store it. Let me let me show you. Maybe I'm misunderstanding everything. And also, let's just turn off everything. And uh, because everything is overheating and about to explode. There we go. And this time I'm not going to take off and interrupt it. By the way, I oh I can't store the ship there. Then why the hell did I ask for the prospect? Fuck. <sighs> fuck it, fuck, fuck. Uh, but that's fine. Hey, I'm still a happy, happy camper because I just got this ship and I'm very, very pleased. I love the kitchenette and the studio apartment feeling. <laughs> the, the the consolidated Outland Nomad. Oh right, right, right. So. Yeah, Talon Pisces, Hull A, the, the small size ships. I'm used to flying a Hull A as my daily driver. That's why I forgot how much bigger the Nomad is. Oh, that's way too bright for night vision. Well, then I guess that... Um, oh right, I forgot to empty the, the hold. I should be able to put it in local storage, right? Let me try that. Okay, here we go. Inventory, vehicle, local, yeah. It's not important, it's just a set of civilian clothing that I want to wear while, uh, while fly out flying sometimes. Um, you know, the important stuff. <laughs> Why am I saying not important? Of course it's important. Why weren't they stacked? Come on. Extra ammo in case of bunker mission, whatever. And field light because sometimes the missions get dark. <laughs> Morning loot is very important, I agree. <laughs> what kind of loot does not matter? Wrong door. I swear like once game is released or once they confirm that inventory is permanent will never be wiped again probably on release if not beta um, I th think it's, that's gonna be unhealthy for me because then I will no longer have an excuse to not care about things now I cannot care about it because I know at some point I'll lose it anyways but I'm such a horror when it comes to video games, it's crazy. Yeah, 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 around December, end of year, 318. Oh, it's gonna be so good though. I think, isn't it like very likely that we get the cargo refactor and um, uh, salvage? Oh, fucking persistent entity streaming. PES, baby, that's 
for damn sure. See, I can only claim it. I can't. Oh, yeah, you told me why. Okay, never mind. No, precision entity streaming? I mean, like. Why did you get. Let me. Why did you let me claim it here? Why did you. Why did you. Don't tell me my other ship just disappeared. No. Okay. Didn't. I could always claim the arrow here, though. I don't know why I have it. Probably something everybody have these days. But persistent entity streaming. Uh, like I don't know if you you saw the latest Inside Star Citizen. Uh, uh, like one day ago or something. Two days ago. Um, like they said, like when they released just that function, we won't really. Oh no, I, I really recommend it. It's like, you know, sometimes the person talking is making no sense and just saying like big words, but it doesn't really mean anything. And sometimes it's a nerd that's talking way too technical and you don't really get a sense of the meaning. But this one, it's, it's this guy that's just, it sounds like he's saying something, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. It's just... I, I hope uh, it's not long before he comes back on Inside Star Citizen. He, it almost felt like he said things he wasn't really supposed to say. <laughs> like, almost promising too much. Uh, I know the... Yeah, yeah, oh god. No, I, I, I really prefer it when it's just uh, people nerding about their job and nerding about the technology and the game. Uh, I think it was the one yesterday, the day before yesterday, that was so, so good. But but what it said about the PS specifically was that PS in itself we won't we won't see it. Maybe we'll just notice that things are still lying around way after we we put it there. But that that's already happening to a certain degree. Sorry, I have to deal with my um, overheating issue. Um, heat, 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 there we go. I think, like, my issue is, why am I, what is this, I don't want to hit the engines. Okay, don't suppress the engines, but suppress the weapons. I don't need weapons. Who needs weapons? I don't know. Okay, I gotta pay attention to that. I've never paid attention to the heat dynamics in this game before. You're right, I could just turn them off. I mean, <laughs> they're pea shooters, anyways. Uh, that's in the weapons menu itself, isn't it? Um, weapons. Guns. Oh, come on, come on. I hate it locking onto the menu below and just off, off, and off. Size 3s upgraded from size 2s, maybe that's the issue. Isn't O shields? Let me, let me test that. I've never tried P, but I know O is shields. Yeah, P. Right. I've never never tried that. And then O <laughs> or left bracket as they say. Uh, it's accepting things. Okay. Um Right, get the fuck out of here. That's <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Let me see if light vision helps me. Not at all. This is just pitch black. Light vision. Is not really night vision. I don't know if you're familiar with reshade, but uh, people are like up in arms about it. But <coughs> you can't do, you can't make anything visible that you can't make visible by uh, that you can't make visible by um, just going into options and increasing gamma. It's um, I don't know. It takes a lot of kerfuffle over nothing. 
it's not it doesn't actually give you a benefit on the contrary unless you're very peculiar with not pulling too many sliders you'll see less you'll have less vision and I am using it um, if I split screen you'll see the original image on the left and the PES on the right and this is just to brighten it up for streaming specifically for YouTube because it gets so ugly when it's dark on YouTube uh, but it doesn't actually help me see anything better because of the bloom effect but I, I like it so I keep it um, let's see yeah. I don't know. Like this, this looks like it brightens up things, but it's just. Yeah. It's just higher gamma, really. Well, what do you like? The, the brightening up part or the night vision complete burn my eyes out thing? <laughs> I guess I haven't played Escape from Tarkov. I know it's really popular, especially amongst the, the Star Citizen crowd. I know, I get it. Like the the um, colors I have on right now, they're what I usually play with when I'm not streaming. And they are darker, more hard, uh, because I come from Elite Dangerous and before the, the Horizon update, not the Odyssey, sorry, before Odyssey they had really nice contrast and color schemes. I don't know, I maybe, maybe you can use it to cheat, I just don't see the point of it because I'm not playing a game to win, <laughs> I'm playing it to play, so I, I guess that's it, but yeah, no, I use it to actually make things darker and more hard lighting uh, that was poor English you know what I mean um, hold on let me reset that like I like I like this have you played Elite Dangerous? Well, if you have this kind of lighting it will look very familiar So that's what I normally use it for, but then I figure out while I'm streaming I should do the opposite. Just make stuff brighter. Um, there's a lot of pre presets that you can use, but they all make it too much too too colorful, too too high saturation. So I uh, I've actually spent some time making this this profile so that it doesn't feel saturated more than Star Citizen usually does. Anyways, that's way too much about that. Uh, <laughs> let's get the fuck over to Lorville and I don't even know if I want to go to Lorville to take out my prospector. I would probably prefer going to uh, the space station above Lorville. I can't remember what it's called right now. The reason why I'm here is just to... There we go. Oh, it's in the night time. Cut that. Sorry about that. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oh no, I absolutely agree. Um, that's and and also you can like you can use first party tools to do the exact same thing. It's in here, uh, so it's not something everybody don't have access to. Let's just go like this, and then my left side of the screen now is night vision, quote unquote. The left side is the original. Like it's it yeah. There's no 
it's just a preference, but most people like the game to look nice, <laughs> right? Yeah, but if you use it for seeing things you're not supposed to see, then I absolutely agree. It's a it's a game breaking uh, feature, and it breaks the game not only for you but for anyone involved. So I get that. It's just that's not really shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, or at least not as far as I've been able to tell, not from other people's videos, not from my own attempts. And then of course you have... Oh, I hit something. What did I hit now? I have no idea what I hit, but I hit something. To sign landing bay. Will do. Here we go. What side is it on? The other side? Dude, security checks us the second time. <laughs> Auto mode held your message for bullying. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just uh, go with the standard settings and I don't think about the fact that. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. I was busy, IRL, I had to do something. God damn it. And also, this, this fucker stopped me. Wait, haven't he scanned me already? Is he still scanning me? I even need to turn my uh, weapons back on. Weapon <laughs> Come at me. What is he trying to do? Get on my tail? He's not gladius, he shouldn't. Did I just receive a crime stat? No, I didn't, okay. But somebody is aiming at me. Or locking on me. With this isn't that just a turret? Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Request has already been granted. Oh, I could do that. Damn. Sorry, man. I wasn't reading. Oh God, that would have been. Oh wait, I can still do it. Uh, okay, let's see what it does. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I've been playing. Well, the thing is, um, I haven't been playing much. I'm, but this is my parking area. God damn it. You know what? I'm just gonna land, pay the fine, and god damn. <laughs> this was messy. There we go. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Refuel my shit, bitch. What is this? I have not seen this before. I oh yeah okay. Uh, I'm uh, <laughs> it's not accepting me as Initiate in my ship yeah yeah do the ship storage. Thank you for your cooperation. Sorry, I just got uh, agitated. That's uh, initiating ship storage procedure. 
Let's show star citizen. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey, please come here. Land in this beautiful hangar. Wait, you have a security patrol that will not let you go. Therefore, we assume that you are violating your your blocking your own hangar. Let's give let's give you a hefty fine and cool. impound your vehicle and I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, the thing was now it wasn't by accident, but when they closed the doors, I asked for it again and most likely did the trigger the same bug. Yeah, no, I've 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 um, done that before. Okay, fine. B. Thing is, I I uh, this one is filled with refined materials, right? I'm just trying out the mining gameplay. So those materials are probably not worth 10,000 credits. But I did the speedy refinery, which costs 5,000, 6,000 credits, something like that. Now I paid 5,000 for the fine. I've paid at least a couple of thousand for uh, fuel, and I've still not found a single place that will buy my refined materials. This is the most expensive expensive job I've ever had. <laughs> Luckily I still have some cash left from the Orison Siege. 900k. From 1.5 mil. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Uh, I wonder if they want to buy it at the cargo center. I don't think so, but it's... Hey, everybody were waiting for me, that's nice. I don't think there's actually any... anything here. Nope. Just a ton of AI. Um, I tried at Arcor, uh, Era 18. They were not interested. Um... I'm planning on going to Lorville, but I thought I'd check here first. Um, logistics? What, what can you do for me? Absolutely nothing. This... Might not be a thing ever, I guess. Yeah, it's just a store. But what is this? This is cargo shop, yeah. Having a quick look. Yeah, yeah, I can get the arrow. Um, that's light, isn't it? No, it's medium. Uh, it does look better for a miner. It does, doesn't it? And I'm all about that flavor. Everest, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the quick buy button. I'm so thankful for this. And also the possibility to buy food and drink in bulk. Yeah. This looks good. Her legs. There we go. I've never seen or had the Novikov helmet actually. That's interesting. Never seen that before. Or Novikov armor, I didn't think that existed. Well, for another day, I guess. Uh, it's crap, man. It's um, quartz and. What's, what's the other thing? No, it's not there anymore, is it? Because I. Like an idiot, called it over to uh, Hurston, Stanhope, and uh, there. No, it's not. In <laughs> oh my god, D double idiot. 
it's here with me right now in my sh no man, god damn it uh, I can't see it here oh shucks that sucks okay <clears throat> if I get to a trading turmoil I'll know but uh, you know what I'm gonna go by that advice and just hit Lorville straight up see if that's that doesn't solve it not even bother with the admin office here or I am here. Oh. Um, I don't know how to ad hoc allow it, but if you try to, maybe I'll be able to. Yeah, I'm just hit it, man, and I'll see if I can allow it through. Oh, yeah. No, I have allowed links. That's good. SC Trade Tools Home. I, that sounds familiar. I think I've tried it before and been very disappointed. <laughs> but I'll give it a look. Let's see. Just quickly see if I can sell it here. If I can, I'm happy. So I have Agrisium, Barrel, and Quartz. And the Quartz is the main, main player, but I think the Barrel as well. Uh, is it a commodity? I guess it is. No, oh, ores. Can you dig it? Deposits? No, this is where to find. Best buyer. What's my co Agrisium? What is this? This is. I have 19 units. What? Okay, so this tool was actually pretty good. I'll get about 500 USD for this one, which is barely paying the fuel for coming here. Um, <laughs> but that's not the the main one. I don't hope. Barrel. I have 233. I'll get a thousand USD. Oh fuck my life. And. Area 18 is one of the places listed, but they wouldn't buy it. Like, it would pop up here, wouldn't it? There's no... I'm not being an idiot, right? Like, it says Area 18. I couldn't sell it there. 100%. Um... Person, reclamation and disposal. Orinth. And Hurston, Lorville, Central Business District. Let me try the quartz. See if that's also bought on Orinth. Yeah, it is. So, Lorville or Orinth. Um, because of the trains, I think I'll try Orinth first. And then jump over to Lorville if it doesn't. Where's the elevator? It's downstairs, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There we go. Ooh, almost forgot. It's hammer time. Hammer time. Ooh, by the way, if you don't know, this is like the best uh, exploit. Yeah, the trading consoles. Oh! <laughs> there we go. I'm being a dum dum, most likely. Do you know this trick, by the way? To unequip everything in one go? I just, uh, to me, it revolutionized how I get dressed and undressed in this game. <laughs> you double click a new undersuit and it just removes everything outside the undersuit. So if I double click this one now, boom. So you just need a second undersuit and you're ready to skip the drag and drop a thousand times. <laughs>
Here we go. That's much better. Can I put this inside here? <laughs> I can. <laughs> then why the heck not? Mm. Uh, that I can't. Okay. You know what? I don't care. This is the RSI suit. It's. I'll leave it here at Everest. Okay. Uh, let's go to. Can you drag and drop the undersuit? I haven't had that working. Like, I'm not able to select the undersuit when it has things outside it. Burrito bar, yeah. Let's do this. Please tell me I can put my helmet in my backpack with the other backpack. <laughs> a good point hmm. thing is that realistically if the weapons fit inside the backpack there's no reason oh right when they're on attached on the backpack they don't take any capacity no I understood what you were saying uh, right that's very useful for bunker looting I guess I haven't been doing that but I know that's where the money is at at the moment okay so welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system uh, yeah vehicle selected stand by your vehicle has I'll been give this 15 more minutes if I haven't been able to sell at Orinth or the business district in Norville, I will delete the cargo because it's making me so sad. <laughs> like, so, so the thing is, all I want to know, wanted to know, I just realized I now know it, um, is how much I'll make. From what I've seen, I'll make 2,500 credits. For all this cargo, that doesn't even make sense to me, but okay. I mean, just the cost of moving it is more than that, literally, in fuel expenses. So, not really sure about the economics behind that. Pricing. Oh, and I just took damage. Zero percent. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. I started, and then I... No, uh, two, two years, but... I play maybe once or twice a week, maybe half an hour, maybe two hours. So I never get really into it. Like this is one of my longer play sessions. All systems operational. Engine systems enabled. But yeah, no, three, three years is December, actually. Why are people locking on me? What do you want? God damn it. Caution advised. Advice. Why <laughs> is my power 100% weapons? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Okay. Uh, let's see. Where is... What? Orinth. Alright, oh, I have Hurston selected as target still. Um, that's why I couldn't see anything. Here is Reclamation Orange. Oh yeah, I'm super casual. <laughs> uh, oh no, this ship has cargo. This is the cargo. 
No, no, no. This is the pickup truck of Star Citizen. Cargo is its middle name. It actually has 24 SUs of cargo. <laughs> this, um, that's the reason why I went for it. I was, I, I did the Titan Avenger previously, um, and I was thinking of getting back to it, but I just I fell for the increased SU on this one. So of course, when uh, this cargo is 100% physicalized, it will be very vulnerable. Um, so I'm not sure we'll see many of these flying around after that. But I don't care. Uh, if anyone approach me with ba malicious intent, I'm like, you don't even have to threaten me. You just have to say, I have malicious intent, and I'm like, okay, what do you want? <laughs> Stage your price. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. <laughs> you know. Uh, this is like, yeah, it's a st studio apartment with wings and a pickup <laughs> bed. Yeah, pay your pirates, man. They're <laughs> they're doing they're doing a, an important job of keeping the verse unsafe. I haven't experienced that in a while, that tug that just throws you between. It's one of these red markers, but I can't see which one. That's the one. Okay, good. Now I have a visual on where I'm going. Yeah, no, I mean... Like, right now, I have cargo worth, if I did not misunderstand, 2,500 credits. If you want anything more than that, you can gently go screw yourself. You know what I mean? It's like, well, <laughs> I'll actually dump the cargo in your face before I <laughs> pay you any amount of money. I just... oh, there we go. I looked away for a second and then I was like, where was it? It's over here, I think. Yeah. Right, this one. I don't understand why we can't have location markers... Um, out of... outside of quantum spooling. That's just weird. Landing legs, man. They're weird. Did you know that this ship doesn't have. It doesn't land on the ground, it hovers. Like, when it's parked, it hovers. That sounds like a waste of energy, right? Anyways, it's time for uh, the little one to wake up. So, this will actually be my final stop. Yeah, grab love. I had the hover quad, bought it as an LTI and then I melted it because I was so sick of not having ships I enjoyed flying so I just melted everything I had like um, until two days ago I had the no the hover uh, sorry the hover quad I upgraded into a mule and then can I just put it down here and it will be like in the list of things to I think I can. Uh, just put it like this. But yeah, I had the meal. I mean, I loved it, but I couldn't use it for anything. Um, my daily driver was a hull A, and I don't do cargo. So that's something. I had the Centurion. What a beast. So fun to drive. But I didn't have anything to fly it around with, it was so useless. Uh, am I not wearing a helmet? Am I just alive from pure dumb luck because I'm by chance at a planet and not a moon? God damn. Thank you. 
not the Agrisium, but the Varian Accords, the rest I don't care. Yeah, thousand and a thousand and <laughs> Oh, I've lost approximately 15,000 credits on this mining expedition. Yeah, Mark the Horizon and... No, not Horizon, um, Well, basically Horizon or any place on... on... <laughs> Got interrupted, but yeah, I'm all done here. Uh, <laughs> this has been the most expensive work I've ever done. Like I said, oh, that's the sound. I, I was wondering what the sound was. It's just my ship bumping around. But yeah, no biggie. I wonder if there's like a dump cargo button. No. I'm just gonna take off out of here and... Engine systems enabled. Hmm. Jettison cargo, huh? Nice. Yeah, that's something any ship that would practically be able to have that should have that. Either if it's be, especially uh, like the MSR and um, uh, Aquila, I think it's Aquila. It's called the the cargo variant of of the. I don't remember what the platform you have: the Phoenix, the Aquila, and and another one. I think the cargo version is the Aquila. Anyways, the, the MSR and that one are designed for illegal cargo. Um, they should be able to chasten it in case the Popo comes rolling up. It's just like, yeah. What buttons do I have? I have alarm on. Three shield generators. That's really cool. That's, like, that's for real. Shields on this baby are... Oh, they're over here. Badass. It has... Uh, I upgraded to three Palisades, which I think is part of the reason why it's overheating. This Palisade is grade A industrial. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, Also, I think maybe the quantum drive is a little bit too heavy. But there is something about open exteriors, unlock. Nah, uh, it doesn't dump it. It's like I can do this, right? Open exteriors. Then it just goes like this. It's not dumped. Just if I was parked, it would be useful. The towers is the one I'm thinking about. I, I understand the towers and um, MSR have hidden compartments for for. Um, Cargo, you don't want people being able to see. Alright. Oh, they probably added that with the container. Yeah. Well, anyways. I have gotten rid of what I wanted to get rid of. Um, let me just manually get rid of my boxes here and uh, yeah yeah I'm a little sourpuss right now a little salty but I am
very happy with this ship. And next time I'll mine Containium and actually make some money. But yeah, I love the view from this ship. It's a very good view if you disregard the beams. You can see where you're going. It's got a very nice um, living compartments. Very good uh, cargo space and very durable shields. Three size ones, but still three. So yeah, not a success, but hey, thank you for joining the stream, man. And uh, a lot of uh, info and <laughs> tips that help me actually get rid of my stuff. Oh, ooh, bump my head. Anyways, let's get out the. One, two, three, four. No lifer? What's that mean? Oh! Oh shit! I haven't used this gun before. <laughs> I think... I think I'm dying. No. Okay, uh, anyways. Um. Oh, there's uh, artificial gravity here. That explains everything. Can I not pull this up? No, I can't. Okay. What is physical as we'll go? Oh, right, right. Hey man, I get you. I get you. Like I recently got a kid that's <laughs> the opposite of that. <laughs> I can barely have time to play Fuck the Witch. She just got up, so this is me signing out, but uh fucking hell. I I love this game and I'm hoping for it to be released by the time I retire. <laughs> Fucking love this game, man. Hey, maybe I'll see you in the verse. For sure, man. And, uh. Same name as in Twitch. Can I do it from here, or do I have to do it from the menu? Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, yeah, I have to do it from the thing. All right. Um, I should really not quit the game right now, because then my ship will be gone, and I will be out in space. <laughs> my spacesuit. Um... Yeah, bed logging for sure. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, man. It was really nice, and uh, I'll add you in the verse if uh, we happen to play at the same time. I'll definitely bother you with my questions and <laughs> showing you my nomad. GG.